Hi guys, it's your girl Jade. Um, for this movie madness video, I am doing Cabin Fever 2, Spring Fever. Um, this one is not directed by Eli Roth. It is, um, who is, ah, no, don't do that phone. It is directed by Ty West, or T West, I don't know. Um, but it came out in 2008. It's a teen film horror genre. Um, and IMDb gave it 4.3 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes only gave it 16%. Um, as students prepare for this, for their high school prom, they have no idea a flesh-eating virus is spreading via a popular brand of water. I think the brand of water is Down Home Water or something like that. Um, Noah Segan plays John. Giuseppe Andrews comes back as Deputy Winston, the pothead cop. Uh, Alexi Wasser, Wasser, I am so butchering these names, uh, plays Cassie. Mark Center plays Mark. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Rusty Kelly plays Alex. Um, Amanda Jelks plays Frederica, a fat girl in the movie. Uh, Michael Bowen plays Principal Sinclair. Well, okay, so what to say about this movie? Okay, okay, it either came out in 2008. It came out in 2008, I think, in other countries. The U.S., it came out in 2009. So. And, of course, um, Ryder Strong does little appearances in it as Paul. Because, of course, it's gonna. <laughs> there's little flashback scenes from the first Cabin Fever. But basically, um, in at the end of Cabin Fever, you see a little girl and boy selling lemonade to everyone. And then in this one, it picks up with Down Home Water um, using the reservoir for water for their product. <clears throat> um... And it takes you on the trip of how the water gets into a school. Basically goes into the plant, into the uh, bottles of water, then gets shipped to the school. And, of course, it's one of those uh, schools where you, where, you, where you wear a uniform. Wow. Okay. So, <clears throat> they, of course, sell water and everything. Sorry, my finger. I'm trying to get where, like, I'm not shadowed, but I have to, like... The whole weird angle. There we go. That works. Okay, we'll do this. Where I kind of have to sit, like, kind of in uh, this little rocker sideways. So, ow, that hurt. Where was I? Um, the water gets sent to the school. Kids are buying the water. Um, this one has more, um, more shots of like I know you see tits in it more tits uh, there's even like uh, dick shots in it um, I'm trying to remember if it actually progresses like it does in cabin fever <laughs> sort of it sort of does but it sort of doesn't no it doesn't I remember um, in Cabin Fever, you had more of, uh, it just hits you all of a sudden, and your flesh was being eaten away. In Cabin Fever 2, you start, like, losing teeth or, um, bleeding when you pee and things like that. So, it takes a more internal approach, and then it goes to, it doesn't really do the external as much. Basically, it's almost like your insides are liquefying. It's, uh... uh I guess it mutated. We'll go with that. It mutated. Um, but uh, not everyone was getting the bottles of water, so of course it wasn't spreading as quickly. Until the janitor gets it on prom night. 
and it's actually a lot quicker in this movie. But on prom night, this janitor is, like, disgruntled and everything. Like, oh, you nasty kids messing up my halls. I'm going to get you back, yada, yada, yada. And he pisses in the fucking punch bowl. And it is, like, bloody and steaming. I was like, ooh, that's kind of disgusting. But that's how he in he helps in the infecting process. Pisses in the fucking punch bowl. Like, he... Like, the fat girl, Frederica's mixed everything together and getting it ready to actually go out on the table for prom and everything. Janitor comes up and sees it, puts it on the floor, unzips his pants, and pisses in it. I was like, really, dude? Do you have to do that? So, he puts it back up on the table after mixing it up a little bit more. And, of course, these kids start drinking it. Yeah. It is gross. Um, then, of course, you have, I don't know who they would be, like, cops or way, like, government kind of officials come in, lock down the school, and kill everyone. Or they try to. Because they want this to stop. Now. So, yeah. This one is a, it's a, it's a lot more disgusting than the first one, so... If you've got a queasy stomach, I really would not even watch this. I, my daughter hasn't even seen it. I won't let her watch any of the Cabin Fever series or movies because they are, it's just it's disturbing. It's really disgusting. So anyway, um, me, I would say watch it if you love that kind of stuff. Uh, just know that some of it will make you like almost not really gag because I didn't gag. But there's one part where this guy's checking himself for the infection, and of course he has to unzip his pants, because that's that always where it seems to start, is the groin area, for some reason. Um, and of course it shows his dick, and just like slimy, and like pus coming out of it and everything, so if you can't handle that kind of stuff, then don't watch it, because it it does have that kind of stuff in it. So, yeah. But I actually, I own the first Cabin Fever, as I said in the video. I own two copies of that one. And I own uh, Cabin Fever 2 because it was a two-disc set. And then I also own Cabin Fever Patient Zero, which is another movie in this. i got to rewatch that one because I don't remember... Oh, excuse me. Everything that happens in that movie. So, yeah. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.